Lee, um, Saturday off there uh, was quite disappointing in the kind of way because we're really built up to this massive match. Does that affect the squad that you've lost that great feeling as you go into the game? I don't think you've lost a great feeling. It is disappointing that we lost the match because it was all the makings, as you say, a fantastic 90 minutes where, at the moment, the top two teams in the league. But, listen, all we have had to do is uh, concentrate on the, the standard of training. So it's two weeks. So pushing the training, setting the standards, the players set the standards, uh, ensure it's done at the right intensity so it's easy to transfer straight into a game whenever that may be. And luckily enough, we've got the nod and the thumbs up to go ahead at Stars Park on Saturday. How much uh, effect will it have on the club not having that game, which looked like it was going to bring in a lot of people, I think it's moved into a midweek slot? Yeah, ultimately I think us signing Ronaldo might have to be put on hold in January because we've not getting that money in for Saturday's game. But other than that, um, listen, from a financial point of view, that's a, that's a discussion for Graham or the chairman. From my point of view, it's all about the momentum side of things and trying to keep things going on the park. You mentioned last week to us that you may be one person who wasn't quite up to fitness of a, a light injury, I think it was Jaden. Uh, has the time off helped him? Is there any contention? No, I think Saturday's still going to be a bit, a bit early for Jaden. Um, Fraser's just had a, a little tidy up on his little injury and the other one is Mikey Hewitt just felt a tight hamstring so he'll probably miss Saturday as well but other than that looks like Aidan's going to be back uh, and available for selection as well so that helps from the goalkeeping side of things so listen overall overall we're not in too bad a place there'll be other clubs with bigger injury issues than us Saturday at Wraith that's a good tasting one isn't it always some great games against Wraith yeah I th I'm sure Ian will probably be Frustrated he's not got more points on the on the board. They've had a, a fair change around the players in the in the off season. Um but always a very, very difficult place to go to get any sort of result and and again we we're up there to be shot at, so I'm sure he'll be pushing a message to his players that we can be the first team to beat Air United. So we've got to be guarded on that. That's down to us and a uh, setting out with the right mental state to the game keep up with the physical side of it um, and try to put as much pressure on Wraith Rovers as possible. OK, you got announced as the manager of the month uh, earlier this week. What does that mean to you? I think it means more to the club than myself. I think, no, it's, it's always nice to get a wee pat on the back, but ultimately, I'm going to use the old political one, it's, it's not one person's job. It's like Dippo getting it. Dippo doesn't get it. He can't do it on his own. And I'm the same from the manager's point of view. You can't do it on your own. I've got good staff. Got a good group of players uh, that are putting out the game plan on a Saturday, and we're getting our getting results as it stands at the moment. But as we've seen in modern day football, things can change very, very quickly. So we're not getting ahead of ourselves. We're we're pleased with where we are at the moment, on and off the park. But listen, it could change uh, within 90 minutes on Saturday. So yeah, very much uh, focused on the way ahead rather than what we've done in the past. Lee, like Cal mentioned, we had a bit of an unexpected break from football uh, last weekend due to the passing of the Queen Elizabeth II. You were chairing the, in the park, I believe, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. How beneficial will that be for the upcoming home matches this season? Listen, ultimately you want, to, you want to play a game on a Saturday, but it wasn't to be uh, due to the circumstances. Um, but we went out there, we played a, uh, an 11 v 11 amongst ourselves. We got a real good intensity, got a real good work. Uh, work right out of it. They've got high numbers in their, in their distances ran and high intensity work, sprints and everything like that. So it served a purpose, but it's, it's never, never, ever going to be as good as a game on a Saturday. Paul, well, so you took over as manager of the ladies' team a few months ago. How are you settling in? Yeah, I'm settling in really good. Uh, they're a, a brilliant group to work with. Um, as a coach, all you can really ask is that players want to work hard, they want to develop, they want to listen. Um, and I've certainly got that, um, so it's a great starting point for me. There's a, a long, long way to go to get the club in this side of the club where I want it to be. Uh, that's on and off the park, um, but there's progression there. Uh, as I said, the players want to come and work and want to listen. They're thriving off information. They want to get better. Uh, and as a coach, that's that's that's, that's brilliant to come to training, knowing that people are ready to work uh, and, and take on information and, and try to do your try to implement the, the stuff that they're trying to put across. So. It's, it's been good, I'm really enjoying it, uh, I'm, I'm really invested in the group already, they're a good, good group of people uh, in the clubs, 
backing up some of the stuff that they told me that we were going to do. They were going to make a commitment to, to our side of the game and, and they've, they've backed that up so far, which is great. Uh, as I said, there's a long, long way to go on and off the park. We're trying to develop the whole section of the, the women and girls side of it uh, and that's going to take time to get that standard up to where we want to be and producing the best young young female players in Ayrshire. Uh, and, but we're, we're, we're putting the plans in motion, we're putting a, a board in place that's going to have a lot more strategic thinking and uh, a real plan for us over the next four or five years. Uh, and it's my job just to keep the first team ticking along at, at that same time and win games. Uh, so that's that's been a bit frustrating that way, but we're, there's, there's been a real progression and I just need to trust that that's, that, that's going to happen. We're, we're, we're going the right way and results will come with that as well. And you welcome Rossville to Townhead Park on Sunday. Rossville are sitting top of the league, but there's only six points between yourselves and Rossville. What are your thoughts on the game? My thoughts on the game are pretty much the same as, as the other games we've had. It's, it's, a, it's a tough, tough league. Eh, as you said, it's, it's really tight, and, and we know that every three points changes the whole picture of, of that league. Um, either they're a team that's it's a good team, that's in form, they're scoring loads of goals. Eh, but I know we've got a good team as well. When we play to our potential, we're a, we're a match for teams at our level. So I'm, I'm more focused on us. Uh, we've, we've played reasonably well the last couple of games, but the big moments in games, we've, we've not took our chances when we've been top and we've been punished for it. So it's more making sure that we get that, that ruthless side when we're on top of games and, and that kind of game management side of it uh, uh, right. And I don't know, I'm a wee miles away. As I said, our, our performances are improving. Everybody I talk to that's been about the club for a while says that you can see the standard getting better and better and, and there's a good feel about the place. So as much as we'll be frustrated, we're confident as well and we'll go and, we'll go and take the game to aim and do what we expect ourselves to do and go and be on the front foot and, and try and dominate the ball. And Sam, you've spent a lot of time in, in your career uh, in the non-league setup down in England, but you're now playing for United in the Scottish Championship. How much are you enjoying being a part of a club like here United? Yeah, it's been... Obviously, coming in last season at the back end of that, it's been really good, and I think it's opened my eyes about Scottish football anyway. I've learnt a lot being here, and I've found how good obviously Air as a club can be. Um, and yeah, I think it's a good environment here. I mean, I've never been with such like such a good bunch of lads. Like generally, everyone pushing each other. Even if boys have been dropped, I've never seen the mentality of like still them being enthusiastic and encouraging, really pushing for your places. So for me, it's just been brilliant so far. And the fans really appreciate your, your hard work, but you have been uh, put on record before saying that you want to be more than just a worker. Is goals and assists something you're looking to add to your game this I knew you'd say it. I knew it's coming. Uh, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like it's so close. I mean, I feel like I should have probably had two by now where they were... Marge, like small margins but yeah I, I promise you goals will come I, I feel it coming You put in a fantastic performance last night out against Wraith up in Kirkcaldy two goals no sorry the goal and two assists um, what are you expecting from Wraith this time round and how important will the back and the fans be this weekend oh, The away support here I've, like I said again I've never had that sort of support especially away for fans to come and be so loud so their support's always brilliant um, and with regards to Rafe, another really tough game. I don't think anyone in our squad's ever getting too far ahead of themselves. We just take the next game as it comes, and each game we've got to be top form, otherwise we'll get beat. So I think everyone's just going to have the mentality of we've got to give it our all, and hopefully we'll, we'll get the three points there. Come back to you, Potsy. Um, I was talking to you earlier about things and that you've got a degree in psychology. You've also suffered uh, the juniors leagues as well. You've got great, <laughs> you have, you have got great experience as well. Do you think getting a person of your calibre and experience into the club is just showing what was doing now? I hope so. I hope so. Um, it's 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 been a big call for the club. I think the club's been challenged on on the standards that the, the women expect, my players expect. Um, and so part of that was bringing in somebody like me who was going to drive standards and, and push them on um, and try and create a different culture here where we're not just a, a nice wee footballing team that we want to go and win games, we want to be successful, we want to have aspirations. and uh, That's certainly the feel about the place. Uh, they, for the minute I've walked in the door, they, they've, they've wanted to work and they've wanted to, to, to get any information they can off us. And as I said, they're a brilliant group. They, they, they're so 
they look after each other, they, they work hard for each other, they back each other up. Um, and so all that's in place, it's just, they just needed a bit of direction and, and a bit of focus on what we're actually doing and a plan and a structure. Um, and hopefully I'm, I'm putting that in place. It's going to take, as I say, it's going to take time. Um, but we're starting to see the benefit of it. We're starting to see uh, people feeling more comfortable within their roles on, on the park and, and on what we're trying to do. And, uh, and we can only benefit that longer term as, as people get, get more excited about it. Um, but I, as I said, you, you mentioned the juniors and all that sort of stuff as well. It, it's, it's a bit different for that. It's, it's a much more positive environment um, on and off the park. I'm also used to the juniors standing taking dogs abuse for, for 90 minutes for, for base sets of fans. Uh, and it's not like that there. It's, it's a much more positive environment, which, which I'm enjoying. I uh, don't mind the abuse, but it, it's, it's a bit refreshing to be uh, to not be like that. Um, but it's, it's a good it's a good training environment, it's a good learning environment for people and, and hopefully um, I'm already starting to see progression and, and loads of the players within the squad we're, we're seeing the standards rising so that's hopefully where we're going. Really. Callum, if you've had any experience working in junior football I think you should automatically give out degrees in psychology. <laughs> it's, it's the biggest thing you've got to deal with in junior football. It's, a, it's properly as a school of hard knocks and some of the experiences you get from that is, is brilliant and I just, from my point of view, I've I've only been in six months, but I think it's a bit of a coup to get somebody of this experience to come in and take over the women's department. And and I can speak freely here because you're not always in the in and around it, but I get to pick up on some of your girls as well. And they they, they say the difference from where it was professionalism wise and um, and training standards wise has gone through the roof. So you've got the back end of your team I and mean, your players. So you, you're not going to be far away when you've got that mate. Definitely, that's good to hear. Lee, is this very much this we are united thing you talk of? Both, both of you have been talking over the weeks about positivity, direction, going, following a plan. What is the link up like between the women's team and yourself? Like, listen, ultimately it could always be better. You'd always love to... Yeah, I mean, down in England, it's going through the roof, the, the women's game, isn't it? And you'd always like to create that full-time mentality, but the finances in Scotland are a hell of a lot different. Um, I had the pleasure of playing with this, this guy's brother in the past, so I know there's a bit of a screw loose in the brain in that family side of things, so but knowing I'm coming in, I just knew one, one thing for sure, there was going to be enthusiasm, 100%. They're cut from the same cloth and um, really, really good football people, so that's great. But in relation to the link between, obviously, things like this, doing the, doing the uh, media together is so, so important, getting the team photos together. I've been to a couple of the games and watched them and... and, and I know results are maybe, we spoke about it, I know we've not had the, the media thing from last week's uh, Partick game, but we spoke with Claire about it last, and I can see very much similarities to our first three cup games, four cup games. We were creating chance after chance after chance, it just wasn't going for us. And that's very, very similar to what's happening with the ladies at the moment. So it's just about keeping the faith in that, and I'll be there on, on Sunday to watch them. So it's good, been a few games, it's been good, really enjoyed it.